And developing tonight, thieves are continuing to target parking lots at RTD stations here in the metro. Now from break-ins to gas theft, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn looking deeper into who's to blame for not keeping these parking lots safe. Based on the complaints we're getting, the Central Park RTD station appears to be ground zero for this kind of theft. I mean, just take a look around what appears to be a large gas stain here, another there. We counted five in this row of the lot alone. I think that is awful. You go on a trip and you come back in. You don't have any gas. Tamara and James just returned from a trip to Florida and were stunned to hear about all the theft. Because we do park here for the protection of our vehicles. So it's convenient to drive our cars here, but if, we, if it's not been, being protected, then we'll have to make other arrangements. Yep. The theft is well documented. This video shared with Denver 7 shows gas pouring out of the tank on a Ford Raptor pickup. The owner says it happened while he and his family were recently attending a Rockies game. The first thing I noticed was the smell of gas. So that's well over $150 of gas. The cost to replace his gas tank, a whopping four grand. And it's not just gas theft plaguing these lots. Take a look at this. This went down just today as we were here. This guy apparently stole the bike and backpack of the lady in the blue vest. Denver police arresting him on the spot. The lady in blue got her bike and bag back. I see a lot of cars window broken every night, every night. Lydia Williams works at the airport and says she has no choice but to park here. I have to. Why? Because the gas is too expensive. I can't uh, drive every day to the airport and come yeah. back. RTD tells Denver 7 there are more than 20 surveillance cameras at this station alone. But Williams says when her friend's car was recently targeted, police told her the cameras don't always work. They uh, went to the police, the camera don't work. They don't work? No work for years. We pressed RTD on this issue again today. They told us they would look into it. They do uh, all kinds of bus stop here. I mean, this is RTD's property, so they should be responsible. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.